Hi, my name is Mark Delgado. The article could be shocking to some people, but um, it's not uncommon for uh, you know a different sect of people to practice certain things that others normally wouldn't. So I wasn't too shocked after reading this and um, with my background of ones having a different belief system myself. I think that one of the ways that it depicted American culture was that the, the room with the shrines could be a bathroom and the quote-unquote medicine um, could be something that's found in a medicine cabinet in the bathroom. But overall, I found the article very interesting. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty interesting. And um, so, one of the ritual practices in my Christian culture, um, you know, would be to pray over my food or, um, you know, before we eat or pray, um, before we take a trip to drive anywhere. And, um, you know, that's normal, um, for me. However, you know, I'm sure there are a lot of people out there that don't do that. Um, as far as that being seen from an outside observer, uh, maybe an outside observer wouldn't feel that they would have to do that, have to pray before meals or before you take a trip or anything like that. Because maybe they think that, well, uh, their food is fine and they're going to be safe regardless. That they don't really need to pray and ask God for, you know, to bless their, their food or, you know, watch after them as they travel. Um... I think that, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm reading this as I'm making this video. Explain how communication pattern, ritual, or event is connected to an outside cultural worldview or values. Connected to a U.S. cultural worldview or values. This um, could be connected to U.S. cultural values. Um, maybe in more people than one would think. Um, that is, it's a common worldview and many people have that instilled in their values to uh, pray over their meals and, you know, before travel. Um, uh, so I believe that this would be connected to U.S. cultural world views and or values, um, actually, uh, I even know people that are not believers, uh, that still pray over their meals and, you know, pray, pray about various things. Uh, so I think that's something that's kind of like definitely 
a part of the U.S. culture. Um, but looking back uh, in history, I think that that has changed a lot with a lot of people. Um, partly because I believe that the generations, uh, you know, have changed throughout the years. So, you know, as the generations go on and on, um, different values that once were a part of, uh, the past kind of slowly, uh, maybe got pushed under the carpet, so to speak, or, um, uh, people maybe, uh, adopted different values along the way, um, that, um, uh, made prayer, uh, not as strong of a value as it once was. Um, in reading an article, uh, it's called When the Prayers Make Anxiety Worse. It's by uh, Olga Kazan. Um, it was written August 13, 2014. It's on a website called The Atlantic. TheAtlantic.com um, It discusses that prayer can um, help alleviate worries and decrease anxiety. Um, however, it depends on the relationship that the individual has with God. So, if someone isn't a strong believer, firm believer in God, um, and when they, if they are not following the, you know, let, let, let go, let God, um, you know, uh, then prayer could be detrimental. Um, and one of the ways this could be detrimental is that they could uh, continue to dwell on their worries or whatever it is that they're going through instead of praying about it and believing that God will take care of it and um, letting it go. Let go, let God. So, if somebody isn't a firm believer, then prayer could be detrimental to them. Um, yet, it will be beneficial for those who have a strong relationship with God and know that... Um, he will, he, you know, he's got you. Um, he will help you get through whatever it is that you're praying about. Um, so, yeah, it could be both beneficial and detrimental. And it just goes back to um, the relationship that the individual has with God. Um from, you know, uh, most Christians, um, I hope I'm going to say this right, would, are bound by their convictions. So, um, they know, they believe, they have faith that whatever it is they're going through, when they pray about it, God's going to come through and, uh, they're not going to have those worries no more. Um, whatever the case may be. So, uh,
not sure how you say that Na Nakarima. I just I just can't get over how how interesting that article was but so that is my video have a blessed day